five fragrances in my collection that I think, well, some of us distinguished gentlemanly type men over the age of 40 should know about and be wearing. Some a little expensive. Well, one's expensive. The rest of them are on the inexpensive side. You want to know what those fragrances are? Meet me on the other side of this intro and I will tell you all about them. What's going on, everybody? You guessed it. It is your boy, LL Cool Trey. Yes, sir. Trey Belafonte in the building. I guess you can still call me Trey Sands because <laughs> I'm him too. Listen, five fragrances in my collection that I think are great fragrances for a guy like me. Gentlemanly, a little bit older, by older, I mean mid-40s. I'll be 46 years old in December. Really doesn't seem like it, but I am. Bumped into a guy I went to high school with. He was actually a year behind me. And me and him were both sitting. The first time I think we've seen each other and had a conversation since high school. And it's amazing how that happens. He's like, man, where does the time go? I don't know. I don't know where the time goes, but it goes. That's one thing I do know. Now. Let's get into this video. None of these fragrances are discontinued. None of them are hard to find. Some of them are a little more pricey than others, but nothing outrageous. You know, nothing that's gonna cost you an arm and a leg. First fragrance on this list is from the house of Versace, and it is Dreamer. Now this one is a nice, masculine, irisy, powdery type of fragrance. I think smells good. Now, you can wear this one year round. You may just want to go a little bit easy on the sprays in the summer, but I think this is a year round fragrance. Definitely one that you can pick up in the upcoming months and spray on. Definitely a good one to spray on now. We just hit October, first day of the month. Um, nice little fragrance. I like it, I like it a lot. And I think this one was around 30 bucks. I can't really remember because I've had it that long. I know I've seen smaller bottles of this in that $25 to $30 price range. Really good smelling fragrance. The dry down to me of this fragrance is where the magic happens. Absolutely love it. Smells good. Nice, masculine, powdery, fresh type of scent. And when I say fresh, I don't mean shower fresh. I just mean in fresh as it is not a overly citrusy fragrance or chocolatey or smoky or coffee or you know cocoa or any of that it's just got this nice irisy powdery vibe to it i like it i like it a lot this next one on the list is one i've been wearing for several years i've had i still have two different bottles of it one frosted one not and it is from the house of burberry and it is weekend and this is one that I think is good and people don't, don't talk about it. To me, it just has this nice, warm feeling to it. When I wear this, that's just what I get. Again, you gotta let the alcohol burn off in the top of them just a little bit. You know, these are not the most expensive, not the best made fragrances in the world. But if you give them just a second, they're gonna do what they do. I don't know if it's been reformulated. I don't know if it's a difference between the frosted bottle and the clear bottle like this one. I know I have them both and I like them both. And again, this is one that I just feel like is great for a guy. That's just, you know, and I, I hate to put an age on it because you can be in your 20s and still be mature. Definitely can be masculine. I mean, I thought I was mature and masculine in my 20s. Looking back on it, I'm not sure how much of either one I was. I thought I was anyway. So if you see this video and you're a younger guy, I don't feel like you can't wear any of these fragrances because you can. I'm just saying that these are some in my collection that I definitely feel like an old boy like myself can wear. Yeah, to me that's just 
masculine, smooth, has and some warmth. There's something about it that just makes it warm. I like it. I really, really do like this fragrance. And it's not one that you hear a lot of people talking about. It's not one that you're going to find a lot of people wearing for whatever reason. It is one that I absolutely love. One more time. From the House of Burberry. It is weekend. Or Burberry, as I think is how they say it. All right. I only picked out five. So we got two down. At least three. Which way do I want to go next? From the House of Hannah Marie. And it is him, the EDP. Beautiful fragrance. Beautiful fragrance. I like it. I like it a lot. It reminds me of one of my favorite fragrances that is discontinued from the house of Gucci. Gucci Guilty. No, Gucci Per Home 2. Um, I'm going to give myself another little spray of this. I like this fragrance. I really do. It just, it has something about it. And it could be I like it because it's very similar to Gucci Per Home 2. But none, oh man, that smells good. <clears throat> Took a deep breath and got a good whiff of it. And this is an EDP. And it's a very smooth fragrance. It just smells good to me. A little bit of alcohol there in the beginning. Gotta let it die down a little bit. But once you get past that, that T note, man, it smells really good. Just a little bit of sweetness, but a very, to me, a little bit of sophistication, but not something that, that you have to just overthink or, you know, not something that you would want to, you know, I'm not saying that it's, it's, um, I'm not saying it's YSL tuxedo or anything like that. I'm just saying it's the type of fragrance that I feel like you can dress up, dress down, and I think you can pull this one off year round. Again, this is one, if I were going to wear in the summertime, no, I would be mindful of my sprays and go light on the trigger. I wouldn't go ham. I will go light. I will go easy. Nonetheless, it's a fragrance that I absolutely love. Um, and it comes in at about the $19 to $20 price point and it's hard to beat for that price. I remember the first time I smelled it, I was like, that's a $20 fragrance because it just smells good. Hannah Marie Hem, the EDP. This next one on the list is probably the most expensive one, but still. I hope I didn't show it the bottle. Did I show it? No. Dior Home. This is the 2020. And this is a nice irisy fragrance that just smells good. I like it. I like it a lot. Dior makes really good fragrances. Really good. I can smell it here. Just a hint of alcohol right there. Just a hint. But nonetheless, when this dries down, it is a smooth, sexy, date night. Uh, just It just smells good. It really does smell good. The way it comes across to me and off my skin is this is, a, this is the type of of fragrance that to me is signature scent worthy. I mean, I could definitely smell like this every day. It has some maturity to it, some masculinity, a little bit of playfulness, some uh, some sex appeal to it. I mean, it's just a nice fragrance. It, it's nice, man. As you see the smile on my face, it's, it's nice. Dior Home 2020. All right, I got one more. And this one is one I don't hear a whole lot of people talking about, but it is a fragrance that I really, really like. It smells good. Um, I think we're coming up on the type of season to wear this, and it is from the house of Roberto Cavalli, and it is Silver Essence, Wumo, or Wumo Silver Essence. And I know Wumo just means man in Italian. Oh, man. This reminds me of uh, Salvatore Ferragamo, Sal Salvatore Ferragamo, Wumo. Trying to find a spot to spray, y'all. Man, I got so much stuff on. That weekend is really smelling good. That is a nice 
sexy little fragrance. I do not understand why more of us are not talking about that fragrance. It smells really good. Okay, let me put a little silver essence on. Bam. Bam. Nice looking bottle. Good little bottle design. Sit that down for just a second. Mm. Yeah. That's nice, y'all. I don't know why I'm not wearing this one more. Mm. That's nice. This is one I gotta get on some skin this fall and winter. This little sucker is cutting up. Man, it smells good. Mm. Again, falls in line. Some of the sweetness from, from uh, the Hannah Marie. Some of the sex appeal and the smoothness from Dior home. I mean, just nice. It does remind me of um, Ferragamo's uh, Womo, but still. Roberto, y'all did your thing with that one. I like that. I like that a lot. This is one I'm gonna have to get on skin this this fall and winter. Whether I wear it to work, wherever I'm gonna wear it. Whether I wear it to work or on a date, I'm not sure where I will wear it, but it's definitely one. You could wear that to the office too. That would be a nice little office scent. The only place I don't think I would wear any of these is to the gym. These are not gym scents. Oh, that smells good. It's getting sweet, but it's the right kind of sweet. That is one that you guys definitely need, definitely need to check out from the house of Roberto Cavalli. It is silver essence for men. Woomo. All right, guys, that is it. That's all I got for you in this one. Five fragrances that I think the gentlemanly man in his 30s or 40s would wear or should wear and pull off. All right, that is it. I wanna thank you for stopping by and watching this video. Thank you for being the best part of this channel. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, as always, thank you for returning to the scene of the crime. It means so much, it means a lot. Um, yeah, all of that. All of that. If you have any familiarity with any of these fragrances, please let me know and please be sure to be active in the comments below. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And with that being said, I'm going to jump off here, get this video together and get it uploaded. Make me a thumbnail to make a thumbnail and then get it uploaded. So Again, thank you for stopping by, returning to the scene of the crime and being the best part of this channel. I love you all and may God bless you all. Till next time, peace.